Right, here we have the damage. <laughs> that one, two of them exploded. We have that one, the outside just blew off and popped out. Lots of smoke, and that one you can see part of the the wire. They then got very hot, the other ones, and uh, melted the terminals off the end. But yeah. Nothing very spectacular, but annoying. So we've got... Uh, these ones. Which I'm going to put sort of like there. And so I'm going to go drill some holes and fit these on. These ones are quite... these are 50 watt ones. So they should survive. Ladybird. Here's the new resistor arrangement and we're just trying them out. Oh my. I think I'll just put it on. See, it's all working right. You may notice here I stick my uh, bed, instead of having it sitting on four posts, I have it bolted solid to the bottom on here, on a hole I drilled. Absolutely bolted solid with that, and then just bend it around on the stud. Because that's easier and you can set it up much quicker and it holds it absolutely solid so it can't vibrate around as much. And there, getting nice and warm. So now it's just to put all this back together. And now this is one of the common problems I get with my extruder. What will happen is The, uh, the filament will jam up somewhere on the reel. It sometimes happens. And I don't know whether you'll see it or not. You'll see that some bits are clear, and as you turn it round, plastic just clogs up all the roller. So now I've got to try and pick it all out so it will work again. The other things I've been doing, I was doing some accuracy test videos I was making, but I haven't finished calibrating it all, and some of the bits on the printer were warm, which were messing it up, so I've got to do them. Otherwise, what I'm soon going to be releasing is uh, a new thingy I've been making. I was making all the parts for this over Christmas, which I'm going to be publishing soon. So I've got two sets of worm gears, and another bit for some bearings. And mount bit. There's another quite interesting bit I've been working on is uh, this has got to have uh, in here you have a little spring and then you have a roller on here so that this acts like a like a ratchet so it it'll jam up when it goes that way with the with a roller in there and a little spring pushing on it got a cover to hold that all together and that's that's an escapement for this which is hopefully going to work so that's for the pendulum and uh, got the main mount which goes up here and I think I'll let you guess what it actually is I'll give you a clue 
this has got to go around at uh, 1 RPM and that drives the first set of worms which is at uh, these are at 60 to 1 and that drives the second worm which is at a ratio of um, 24 to 1 and uh, that's turning the shaft that goes through this rather nice bearing housing that came out, it's got two bearings in there and this has I'll just put it. this is to hold a tripod mount so if anyone can correctly guess what it is you don't win anything but you'll be right this sort of goes on goes on here and this bit go on here and it'll make sense when it's all put together and working I'll make another little video then